welcome to my channel rosa technocrat today i am going to talk about a specific log that appears in the system event log and that we call it as performance statistics logs uh, this performance statistics log is very helpful uh, when uh, we want to know some trend or like how the device is performing overall let's start Okay, so this uh, Forty OS has a feature that creates a periodic log entry with some general information about the performance of the unit, and this is very helpful in case of intermittent issues and in absence of any other monitoring tools. For example, uh, if you are not having any other monitoring tool uh, like uh, which are continuously monitoring the CPU or the number of connections on the device, then we can use this performance statistics log uh, to find uh, based on history of how the device was performing and this particular log includes information about the cpu memory usage and together with the concurrent session count and the setup rate so we we, we will see so when we go into that performance statistics log particularly so what it includes is it includes cpu usage which helps us to understand how the CPU resource, uh, resource is being utilized over a period of time and because this log is generated at regular intervals. Uh, this log also tells us about memory usage of the FortiGate and the concurrent session, like what is the current concurrent sessions on the FortiGate when this particular log was generated. Then it tells us the setup rate of the device. So setup rate is basically connections per second that are being handled or like that are being established. So what is the setup rate? So concurrent session is the total number of connections that are currently existing or currently exist on the connection table. But setup rate is uh, new connections. So new connections per second. So that is called setup rate. So all these four values are present in the performance statistics log. And how this helps us? This helps us uh, basically if we are trying to find some historical data or if we want to correlate uh, uh, the CPU with any particular issue. For example, you had some DOS attack or at any point of time you saw intermittent uh, traffic drop. That time you can compare it uh, with the performance statistics log whether it was because of any memory CPU or high number of concurrent session at that particular time. So if we don't have this then uh, if we don't have a look at the performance statistics log then based on the graph we will be only able to see like last 24 hours and that is not that accurate because uh, graph is just like uh, plotted over a period of time and if you want to see a particular duration that may not help us so this performance statistics log is useful in such cases and if you don't have other monitoring tools which are uh, continuously monitoring the CPU of the device uh, any SNMP tool so if the, if there is no historical data or no SNMP server or manager then this log helps us in such cases so if you go onto a firewall and if you browse through the system events under log and report, you will see these kind of uh, logs under your system event logs. So these logs are generated at regular intervals. So as you can see here, <coughs> performance statistics, performance statistics, they are continuously keep on coming. Uh, my device is not into production, so you can see the CPU is always zero. But this also helps us to establish a trend uh, of the CPU or memory of the device. And similarly, for me, the memory also remains the constant because my device is not being uh, uh, utilized. And this is the concurrent session you will see in the logs and the setup rate. So th this uh, will be helpful in case of production issues where you will be continuously seeing these variations. And if you want to plot it, maybe you can convert it to a CSV or Excel and then you can plot a graph based on this for a better understanding of the data. And this can be helpful in correlating any other issue with uh, CPU memory at that particular point of time. So. Uh, in case of customer troubleshooting like when i do i generally use them to find out a historical trend or to correlate with an event 
yes if you are not correlating with this uh, log with a particular event or particular issue then this may not be that much useful uh, these performance logs uh, are generally enabled by default uh, but can be configured from the CLI. So if, if we talk this regular report can be very useful when troubleshooting changes in the behavior of the units in terms of resources usage because it provides records to track those changes over a time as I explained. However, in some, same, some situations this feature is unwanted because of the frequency of these reports. So the frequency of these report or this log is a configurable parameter that we can configure like how frequently you want. Uh, let's say if you have uh, this log to be generated every 15 minutes, then this may not be useful because any kind of issues uh, that will occur uh, may, may not be relevant like the issue occurred at one minute and then you are checking the CPU after 15 minutes. So that may not be useful to us. So we should have the interval configured properly maybe reduced to one minute two minute or five minutes uh, not like 15 minutes 15 minutes may not be that useful uh, in that case okay so if we if we talk here like one cause uh, uh, I have seen some cases where on a device uh, I don't see the performance statistics log on some of the 48 firewalls so the reason if these are not uh, enabled or if if you can't see these under your device so the reason is because of this so this is how we can configure this is how we can configure so if you go under config system global there is a parameter called set system performance log interval and if the value of this is set to zero so zero means these logs are disabled and will not appear so fortigate is not going to uh, generate any of these logs but the other parameters that can be there the range or the interval of these logs can be from 1 to 15 minutes uh, 1 being the least and 15 is the maximum uh, minutes so that uh, or the interval between the logs but 5 is the default value for these logs so if you don't do anything the firewall should generate an uh, system event log for the performance statistics every five minutes. So uh, if, when you are verifying on your FortiGate and if you don't see these performance statistics log coming in, then please verify this configuration from the CLI. And this configuration is only available in the CLI, not in the GUI. So please uh, check this configuration if you are not seeing the logs. I uh, hope uh, this performance statistics will help you uh, to understand or to correlate the issues or to find out the trend of CPU and memory without any third party uh, SNMP monitoring servers. So let me know uh, if it helps you or if you find it useful, uh, just put it in the comments and that will be good even for me for a feedback and to generate more videos. Thank you so much. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you again. Welcome. Bye-bye.